All right, so this deck is kind of a metagamey style deck. It's a deck that if we run into matchups where if we run into matchups where our cast downs and our moment of cravings and our ritual assists have text, we're going to have a really good time. If we run into creatureless based decks or things like wilderness reclamation, we're probably just going to be up a creek without a paddle. So let's uh, go ahead and dive on into some matches here and see how they go. Hopefully we uh, we get some decks full of creatures that our removal spells will be good against for us. So we're hoping, hoping to find like the mono blues, the mono the white aggros, even even something like the thieves deck we just played against that has a lot of mana creatures would probably be okay for this archetype. Uh, the best packs for new players to buy that are just getting into Arena are probably going to be uh, Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica's Allegiance, just because those packs have not only a lot of format staples in them, but they also have Shocklands, which are going to be relevant not only in the new non-rotating format, but in Standard as long as they're, as long as they're around. Thanks, Snowflake. Uh, are there not Elder Spells in the sideboard? I think there's Elder Spells in the sideboard. Yeah, there's two, two Elder Spells in our sideboard. Gobble, gobble. Maybe, maybe, maybe do a double take there. Maybe I'm supposed to play treasure map out here and get scrying. Of course, if I play treasure map and they play three mana Tefri, I just want to like curl up into a little ball and cry. Tajik. All right, we said if we hit matchups where our cards have text, we're going to have an okay time. So we're missing land drops here in our... How many lands are in this deck? This deck's only playing 24 lands. That's probably wrong. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna add a land to this deck after this match. Yeah, the new moment animation is a plus for sure. I wanted to scry during my upkeep. I wanted, I wanted to scry during my upkeep. It's okay, Arena had other plans. It's fine, it's fine. We would have missed our land drop anyways. You just acted out exactly how I feel sometimes with this game. Yep. You discarded you like it. Shut up and play the game, Hogland. Take your cards and throw them in the bin where they belong. That's true. A 25th land probably would not have corrected what happened this game. I agree with that. That doesn't change the I guess we have Mana Geode. Like, Mana Geode, like, technically ramps us, right? So maybe 24 with Mana Geode and map is fine. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I guess I'm going to Mana Geode before I draw. Yeah, the opponent's playing Just Guy Hero. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that sweet, sweet land on top of our deck. We're so, we're so lucky. We're so lucky. Get to cast down the crap out of this Elite Guard Mage here. Kill it with cast down. Pierce me, daddy. I didn't mean actually pierce me. I meant think about it, but then don't do it. Man, I'm really glad 
I'm really glad I have these board sweepers in my hand. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. We're so lucky! We're so lucky! My friends, just, just like we drew it up. My deck, my deck heard me making fun of the sweepers and was like, calm down, Jeff. We've got you. And I'm going to pay for the spell pierce on this one. And a free treasure map! And you get a treasure map, and you get a treasure map. Everybody gets a treasure map! Upkeep stop. Good call. Good call. Get to the top top. To the top top. This game, listen, we might have been magic a little bit to start this game, but this game has been a good game of magic, right? Like we've had, we've had some back and forth. I've played cards that did things with their cards. Their cards did things with my cards. It's been truly wonderful, really. Yeah, the patch is supposed to be happening sometime today, Time Lord. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to plan to not do Underlords today, but I'm going to definitely do Underlords tomorrow and tomorrow and Thursday. And probably Friday... Probably Friday. All right, what are we, what are we doing? Uh, the reason why they haven't added permanent stops is because of people that you see playing magic. Roll reversal. That's pretty sweet. The people you see playing magic online who literally have a stop at every phase and the game runs at a glacial pace. Now the opponent looks like they're flooding a little bit too, so screw screw tends to beat flood a lot of the time. This is uh, the traditional logic for a reason. Underlords is the kind of game you plan to play. It's the kind of game that you find yourself playing after getting Nexus. <laughs> it's funny because it's sad. Ooh, one man I manage you. Get on my level. If I was in charge of the standard ban list, I would ban three mana Tefri and Wilderness Reclamation. Because I don't, I don't think you want to live in a world where Wilderness Reclamation is legal and Tefri's not. And the opponent put out full control mode. Yep. Yeah, the fact the fact that uh, Stoneforge Mystic is still legal and standard is really ridiculous. I feel like they probably should have banned that card by now. 
I'd feel I'd feel safer if Stoneforge Mystic was banned in standard. So, I'm going to down tick here to make another 5-5. Five five. I'm going to have Ugin kill Aurelia. Sorry, 6-6 six, six now. Evil cannot withstand a we'll play another Ugin. I can create or destroy. The worst part about Sensei's Divining Top is when your opponents would be like, all right, my turn, top, you're, you're go. And they'd be like, end step of my turn, end step of your turn, top again. Just like, <laughs> have they changed? I watched you put them back in the same order. Oh no! My opponent tapped the one that's summoning sick. Yikes. Getcha. For people who are smart and don't use Twitter, you should go you should go enjoy the meme I posted this morning. All right, Ritual Asset seems pretty bad here. They have a number of cards that uh, that dodge that. I think I want Duress if they're holding Sandbagging like Roll Reversals and stuff. This seems fine for cleaning up after Hero. Rest of this seems reasonable. Maybe Knight of Malice is fine just as like a blocker. They're, prob they're probably a three-mana Tefri deck, too. Which this is good against that, also. There's a lot of cool pirates in the new in the summer set. And, uh, and there are, um, there's a four mana four, four or four mana three, three with flash that makes more wolves when you don't play spells in your turn. So both of, both of those are things I'm interested in doing. Uh, we just started Aaron. <laughs> you know what? I don't care. Keep. I don't, I don't care. Keep. Yeah, there we go. Never, never didn't have it. Never didn't have it.
scry me a river, baby. Look at us. Look at us get our get our mono black ramp on. All right, just check it. Just check it. Is it tinfoil hat to say that Little Tep is a wizard's trial run of Hearthstone style magic? Maybe, maybe a little. The shuffler, the shuffler is flat. Yep. They kept a hand with that white man. It looks like they also they also mulled the six, so they were just like less lucky than we were. Yeah, yeah, Grand Abolisher style effect would have been acceptable on Tefri. You'd even just do combat tricks on your own turn. Alright, this is sweet. We get to put two counters on this before it gets bounced back to our hand. Yeah, it wouldn't turn off Dreadhorde Arcanist either. Which would be nice. That's true. I mean, like, the reason why Tefri is templated the way he is, is Tefri was very obviously created as a hate card for Wilderness Reclamation, right? They obviously, they obviously didn't want to have to ban Wilder's Reclamation. They wanted a card to very directly hate it out. And the problem is, when you create something to combat something obnoxious, it's, a, it's, it's Thrag Tusk Vapor Snag all over again. They printed Thrag Tusk to beat Vapor Snag, and then in doing so, they printed a card that was way more obnoxious than Vapor Snag could ever dream of being. Same, same thing here. They printed this card to beat Wilderness Reclamation, and in doing so, they made gameplay patterns that were far more miserable than Wilderness Reclama Reclamation generated. Nah, Marty, I'm going to give it the college best here. And I always I always tell people I play decks for at least uh for at least two matches. So we're going to play two to three matches. We'll get our get our stuff pushed in. And then uh and mosey on to the next deck. Scale of one to dead. Where's this mobile eyes district at? Ah, excellent. The dead side of the scale. It's my favorite. It's my favorite side of the scale. The dead side. I do potentially get to flip map here if they don't. Have, if they don't have another Tefri to jam. for a break. All right. All right. Get to get some get to get some carnage going on here. I have 
We don't want to down tick him because then little Tefri, little Tefri will will bounce bounce the token. Listen, chat. It's okay. It's okay if you're sick of Tefri. He's only legal for 18 more months. 15 more months. 15 more months. Sorry, only 15 more months. Here we go. We need to move quickly. Um, what was I gonna say? No joke. I was planning to stream after the Mythic Championship was done on Sunday, and then Nexus of Fate won the tournament. I was just like, nope, not doing it. Can't, can't do it. One of my contempts got exiled by Karn. I think I just do this and then moment of craving to kill this. I guess. I guess they could just bounce my 4 4 though. What's going on, Wolfie? Good afternoon. Good morning. We're going to do some more Underlords tomorrow and tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. Wizards of the Coast doesn't ban cards because, at least from an outside perspective, it feels to me like people have this idea that every time Wizards bans a card, they've failed in their job. Which I think is a silly stance to take, but whenever whenever there, there is a card that gets banned in Magic, there's a very vocal part of the community that's very upset that something was banned. pace keep up the pace maybe at the end of today's stream this is something i haven't done before but maybe i could like we could do it on stream usually i when the full spoiler comes out i like pick through all of it and like look for cards that i want to write and talk about so maybe maybe the end of today's stream we'll do that together But I have a six mana planeswalker. What do you mean? What do you mean this game is over? Yeah, we'll see. I'm interested to see what the viewer numbers were like. Nox, Nox is pretty good numbers just going through spoilers, but Nox just like always has insane numbers, so I'm not sure if that'll translate for me. Incoming Elder Spell. Yep, Let's basically. Chat, they only have six cards in their hand. What did Nox stream before Magic? He was big into Hearthstone, I believe. He did, like, casting for some of their tournaments and stuff. No, he did not start with Magic. He's got, like, half a million followers or something like that. What are his, what are his stats? He's up there. Sully Gnome. Sully Gnome says he has, uh... Where's the follower stat? That's not what I wanted. Oh, weird. Might be a bad idea. Weird, he's not on the stat tracking website. All right, we're dead. You think that restricting problem cards could help? I'm sorry if that's a dumb question. So it's not a dumb question at all. It's something that, it's a question that people actually pretty frequently ask. So in my opinion, restricting cards in magic is bad primarily for two reasons one explaining to players who are playing paper magic how restricted cards works work is often confusing for newer players and past just being confusing for newer players um 
Bash just being confusing for newer players, restricting a card that's obnoxious or too good doesn't, not removing that card from the format just makes your games high variance. It doesn't really change how they are. It makes the feel bads feel even worse because when the restricted card comes up in play, you're like, oh, that's a one of, and I'm really getting ho- I'm even unluckier than normal, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of people, uh, Kilu. Which, and that's really one of the great things that Arena's done for Magic. And we've seen a ton of people, who both streamers and people watching at home, who are like, I played Magic forever ago, but then fell out for whatever reason, and then Arena just sucked them, sucked them right back in. Which is awesome. Arena, Arena makes it very convenient to play Magic, so people who had kind of fallen out, like Nox, are able to get back in easily. Uh, mages are going to be nerfed in the next, uh, the next update for Underlords, they said. They're going to buff dragons as well. Which seems sweet. It's, it's, it's neat, it's neat to see a game run by a company that's proactively managing and balancing it. That's not, that's not something I've really experienced before. If I play this, I'm still a mana short. And I get to cast her next turn regardless. So let's play this. Oh! Oh, that was a mistake. I could have killed Narset, right? Because Geode was already in play. Yeah, I think even though they have this, maybe I should have killed Narset. I didn't think about, I don't know. Like, getting to play a six drop, like, getting to play God Pharaoh's Edge next turn is pretty good, but I guess, like, getting to guarantee draw a card with Karn is good since they have the D Spark. So, like, I'm trading basically my God Pharaoh statue for, for like, a Narset Impulse. Yeah, but, like, as someone who's an incredibly casual Overwatch player, I'm not sure that changing things too often is really that big of a deal there. Like when I, whenever I pop into Overwatch, I'm not sure. I, I don't really feel like I'm, I'm that confused as to what's good, bad, or otherwise. Because like as a casual player, I'm not really like min-maxing which characters I select. Right, I'm just like picking the characters that I enjoy the play patterns of. Speaking of which, the new cowgirl is is definitely my jam. I know she's probably not considered new at this point, but she's one of the newer ones. And last time, last time I logged in, I had a good time running around playing that one. Fine, I'll leave. This is a good example of why Liliana is frequently incredibly lackluster. They just like, killed my Liliana and then killed my creature and then my Liliana effectively didn't draw any extra cards. So like my six mana Planeswalker kind of just got two for one. And when you're spending six mana on a card, you generally want better value than getting two for one. Had that Liliana been an Ugin, it would have basically been a three for one because they would have had to kill the Ugin, kill the two two, and then I would have drawn a card when they killed the two two. Kind of surprised we didn't see them, like, bounce a mana geode here or their Othakaya to, like, try and hit their land drop. Or we draw Step Thought Erasure Ring? Sure. Why not? Why not? Oh, yeah. Take my card. Take my card. You know, it's actually the thing that made me post that Tefri meme on Twitter this morning was... I was looking at uh, Bag of Holding got spoiled. And Bag of Holding is a really awesome card design that's a really elegant way to print an anti-thought erasure card. And I was like, oh, this card's really sweet. And then I was like, oh, 
It just gets bounced by Tefri and his actual dog trash unplayable. Like, I was like, oh, this card's awesome. It's an elegant way to, like, stop discard spells. And I was like, they'll, they'll just bounce my bag of holding and then I've done nothing. And I just get to sit there and feel bad about myself. Maybe, maybe they won't kill my Karn, and they won't have creature removal for this next turn, and I'll be able to kill their Tefri and get back in this game. Let's, let's pretend all of the cards in their hand we don't know are lands. God, I gotta dream, gotta dream big. Shoot for the stars, Jet. That's more like it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the fact that Arena is a big focus for Magic now could mean that we see more aggressive management from Wizards because, like, it's much easier to compensate people when you ban a card in digital. Like, they could compensate people banning cards in paper, too, but it's more it's more convoluted and difficult to track, right? Oh! Oh! Just the Tempri Hero of Dominaria emblem! That's it! Just an emblem? That's all you got? That's fine. I'm gonna give you this one. I think it's... I think it's only fair that I bow out at this point. I don't... I don't want you... I don't want you to lose after you play your emblem. <laughs> oh, magic. <laughs> now, it's, it's good... It's good to see you know, the other players experiencing the same thing you are, Tenno, right? Like, it's not just your bruise at home that gets stuffed in a trash compactor by by Esper and, like, chewed and spit back out, right? It's like the rest of us here out in the real world also are getting shoved into trash compactors by three mana Tefri as well. Bag, bag of holding was the card, the card that looks really sweet in M20 that just like is unplayable because Tefri exists. All right, let's play a constructed event. Maybe. Maybe people who are who are playing sweet things are hiding in the constructed event. Yes, that is correct, Y Sticks. If Bag of Holding is bounced, all of the cards that's exiled are just gone. Watsy can't be responsible for unsupported formats and paper. That's not true at all, Fearburger. By Wizards of the Coast can support formats and paper by encouraging people to run them. They can they can make them grand prix formats. Do y'all still see me? Do y'all do y'all still see me? My Twitch doesn't appear to have disconnected. Weird. I've had a couple random connection issues so far today, so Twitch didn't drop there, but this did. I only see a salt elemental. Good answer, basic lands. 
Is this is this deck's like totally your jam, huh? Basic lands. It's got it's got all them basics in it. I'm hoping for an arena only ban list they can aggress with bannings, unbannings, I think particularly in the internal format, maybe. Check your DNS server in the router. I think my router is set to use Google's DNS service, if I if I recall correctly. Yeah, that's probably something worth checking. I so I agree with that Fatal Roundhouse kick, but I also said that about this last set, and three mana Tefri definitely proved me wrong. So I always go into magic sets with an open mind. Like, magic's got a lot going on, and there's definitely lots of things that are easy to miss. Hey, Evo Hell LCS. Thank you for the brand new Prime support. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for sending that my way this month, and welcome. The Phoenix matchup's probably not terrible with this deck. We've got uh, some Contempts. We've got uh, a couple of Cries. And a lot of good spot removal for their Drakes and stuff. Hey, Quaddle, thanks for the six months. Ritual is notably not particularly good in this matchup, though. Boo Landy, coming in hot with the brand new Prime support. Welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. Those two are not bad. Long time YouTube watcher, first time Twitch live viewer. Well, welcome, Boo. I appreciate you dropping in. I'm glad you enjoyed the YouTube stuff. Thanks for uh, helping pay my mortgage with your Twitch Prime. We have a shock here or another lightning strike to finish off Garn. Weird. They have a Phoenix that they're ditching here. Is that why we did this pre-combat? Maybe APR. The, the problem with some of that stuff too, and this is why like they haven't added things like Popper or Singleton as permanent formats is too many too many buckets end up with players divided up too much, which is a bad thing ultimately for the game. Like you don't you don't want your queue times to devolve into being too long, which is something that's very possible to do. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and ritual a soot just to clear this auger because there's a there's a good chance they don't really have many other things that ritual a soot kills, and I'd like this to not die to shock this turn ideally. We have a finale of eternity to cast down an exile, which this card can fetch up next turn if this dies. Yeah, auto chest. That's another thing too. It's gonna be interesting to see as the auto chest craze, like as more people saturate the market with like the league version and eventually the Epic Games version, like do the queue times in the game stay really short when you're looking for seven players? Because I feel I feel like there's a real possibility that like queue times could be a danger for a game like that, right? Is it still up? I I think the last time I wrote about Dead Guy Ale was way back at MTG Card Market, which probably isn't live anymore. If you um, if you message me on Twitch, Boo Landy, um, if you want the old primer, I'm pretty sure I have all my old Magic articles in a Google Doc still. So if you if you're looking for my my old primer from forever ago, I can probably link you a Google Doc version of it. It won't have uh, fancy card formatting, but all the text will be there. Ooh, 
I'm like 90, 95% sure I, I was using Google Docs back then. No Pierce here is huge. What's up? Makes, makes their deck full of cantrips. Nice four mana radical ideas. Good luck. Good luck cheating a Phoenix into play opponent. Welcome to the party, friendo. Big deal, we max. Just a quick search and a share link from my end. The old six mana three two flying haste. Seems good. Best if you stop. Are we getting double shocked? We're gonna pay six mana to kill my card. Six mana, two cards. God bless. Lightning strike him. Come on, you know you want to. Oh, Karn, Karn lives to see another day. New three mana shock, new meta. Ooh, there's a stronghold over there. It's exciting. Get Ugin down so we're not waiting 17 more turns for God Pharaoh statue to do its thing. Does their deck function? Not particularly well. This experience still proved useful. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. What a good mind. Yeah, our, our opponent our opponent's a trooper for sure. Yeah. They're not not giving it in sheer. Uh, we're about 30 minutes in, Stormy. Uh, we're about 30 minutes in, Shrusa. It has... We had a real bad time against Esper, just as a fair warning. So this card, notably not very good against Phoenix. Are any of our sideboard cards very good here? Do, am, I, am I just clicking submit? Oh, I guess Ashiok's fine, right? Duress is okay. Their deck just has so much of so many so much redundancy. This affects their critical mass, I guess, when it comes to getting the Phoenix back, though. Oh, Greystone stops finale. That's true. Okay, I'll board one of those in. Good, good catch on the finale. I'm gonna leave the other gravestone in the board for the same reason I'm leaving the other God Pharaoh statue in the board, which is I can fetch it with Karn the Great Creator. Oh, Ritual is such pretty bad. Yeah, let's get that out of here, right? <laughs> yeah, Percy. Pretty easy mulligan here. Gosh, not only... Not only does next week bring bring a new set for standard, but we get the London Mulligan rule too. It's gonna be a brave new world for a variety of reasons.
Want to keep hands like this and miss our second land drop and die anymore? We get a whole week. It's going to be really weird. The The ban list timing is strange now. Like having, having the set release on the second on Arena and then having a ban list update on the eighth seems really silly to me. I feel I feel like they should probably do the ban list update on the first. Is that just me looking for something to complain about, or does that make sense? Jacarino, thank you for re-upping your prime this way again. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Whoa! Augur drew a is that legal? Is this card allowed to draw a card? Maybe we should ask for a deck check. Have it a week after in case you broke the format by accident? Yeah, I guess. Chirp. If you wish to surrender now, put thoughtfulness before action. Free to play is read as microtransactions out the wazoo. Well, you you must not have been here earlier when we were talking about the auto chest variations, Mid Valley. That's actually a big part of why. A big part of why I think the auto chest variations are going to be so successful is because those games are truly free to play. They're not free to play microtransactions everywhere to actually be able to need to play, right? That's rough, eh, sir? Keep an open mind. Unemployed Sofa. Thanks for keeping me employed. Welcome back. Yeah, Aristocrats gets the new Chandra. Uh, I'm excited to try and tune up blue-black pirates. I'm excited to try and build bad green flash decks around the new 4-drop wolf. Pirates, pirates and the new 4-drop wolf are like at the top of my list of things to be disappointed won't work. Uh, teamer and red green elementals potentially looking good. Coiling, coiling Oracle plus plus sounds like uh, a droid I'm looking to lose with. An Arlen deck, yep, yep, making wolves, making wolves and fighting things. Thank you for the two months, Jock. Uh, we could also potentially play the new four mana wolf card alongside Tulsmere. Troll Smear. Troll Smear is a sweet card. Pylon! Thank you for the four-month reset. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Yeah. Yeah, Pirate. Pirate's one of my favorite decks when that was legal. Four color elementals flashing black for Panharmonicon. That's probably something we'll do at some point. Which, by the way, for people that were talking about sweet things to do with M20 cards, my deck queue is open for M20 submissions. So if you have if you have sweet things you would like to get up on stream starting on Tuesday next week, a week from the day, we'll have access to cards from the new set. You can submit them using the form on my website as always. Uh, MTG Goldfish is usually pretty good about having all the spoilers on their website. If you want to link decks through there. Hey, Lully King Sama, thank you for the brand new Prime Sport. And Sojourner, welcome back for the fifth month. Courier, thanks for re-upping. Read. Poor, poor Karn. He is not long for this world. I need a land, Karn. Zedos! Thank you for the half a year.
Six mana Chandra. What's six mana Chandra's down tick? I feel like I should know that. Is her down tick removal? It is removal. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like six mana Chandra is the... Is the finisher that... Um, six mana Chandra feels like the finisher. A finisher that red-white land destruction, like, really wants. Deal. Getting Ashiok negated there is a huge win for us with these cards in our hand. Hey, Tom Tracy. Thanks for the 39 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. I am old and angry. That sounds incredibly close to putting a real wind cut in it. Apologies. Ooh, it's free. I require service. Your court will be All right, Rise squads of two twos, let's go. That all about that 2-2 life. Yeah, my opponent, this is a good example of my opponent having interaction in no clock. I've been struggling against Hagak as five color humans. I've been considering Graf Digger's cage as a replacement as more permanent effect. Do you think it'll make a difference? Um Cage is Cage is decent against them, Courier. I would I would recommend, honestly though, if you didn't see us play blue-white humans on stream, I would re recommend looking at that deck list because it gets to play rest in peace. There was also a Jeskai humans list that put up one or two five O results that you could probably find on Goldfish. So I might I might recommend moving off of five color to try some of the two or three color variations. You can play Rest in Peace. Um, it's on the mo it doesn't have a dedicated Dex page, but it should be in under Videos Modern. It should have been last week or the week before. You can also find that on my YouTube channel. They ditched a burb there. If they don't put the burb into play this turn, we get to silent gravestone them. This is difficult to digest. Secrets. Is it crazy to down tick here? I'd get to draw these two cards and draw two new cards and like dress them this turn. Nah, I'm just gonna plus. They're probably dead. Look at that. Look at that. We're on the scoreboard. See, we should have we should have just jumped into the I think we're just gonna play constructed events for the remainder of this week for standard. Maybe I, I say that now, but like we're gonna run into Esper and Nexus here. Maybe maybe we can run into not Esper, not Nexus in these events. We have we have a match win now. It does try to pair based on records, so like the better your record, the more likely you are to get better decks. You nobody need black mana. Ho oh ho! I got good news, ladies and gentlemen. My uh my appointment that I had at 3 o'clock just canceled. So we're going to play some Underlords today after I'm done. I'm going to play this in one more. And then we're going to play some Underlords. Golgali, thank you for the two-month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Oh, look. Esper. 
No, we're gonna play Aristocrats. I thought I was gonna have to be done streaming after Aristocrats, though. Because I had, I had, I was originally supposed to be meeting with someone at 3 o'clock. And then, uh, they had to re- asked if we could reschedule. We are, we are definitely playing the Aristocrats deck today. How has this deck felt so far? Uh, it's playing a sweet combination of cards, but it doesn't feel particularly competitive against Esper or Wilderness Reclamation. Meetings. For for the most part, I don't I don't really have meetings. Occ occasionally, like stream sponsors and stuff like that, I have to schedule stuff with. The worst is when a stream sponsor's like, can, "Can I call you on the phone?" And I'm like, "Yo, bro, it's like 2019. We use we use Discord for meetings now. We use, who who uses who uses phones to have meetings? It's just just the worst." What's your phone number? I think my phone makes calls. Normally it just plays it just plays underlords and scrolls scrolls Reddit. Phones are for calling parents. They're trying to make sure you're not catfishing them. <laughs> oh, not Vito. Oh, I, 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 I. What, what sounds unprofessional? Using a traditional phone, I agree. Listen. If you're breaking if you're breaking into working with working with people who stream on the internet get with get with 2019 use discord yeah I just and this is this is just a good example of why these matchups are hard right game game one I just have so many cards that just don't line up well into what they're doing. You know, I've got we've got two losses in the event. I'm just gonna concede and go to one and one and play one more here. I've got one one more match in me with this deck. Let's not let's not have it be against Esper. That's basically unwinnable. Yeah, yeah. The full spoiler for M20 is up. So deck submissions are open. Blue, blue, black pirates and bad, bad green flash creatures are the two things I'm looking forward to play with the new set. Do I have a list up? I don't currently. Well, the good news is they're light up the stage here, only drew one card, so that's nice. They can't play both these two drops, which is excellent for us. Missing, missing a land drop, not so excellent, but we drew double moment of craving, so maybe we can survive. I think if we hit the land tier, I'm actually going to finale this Pyromancer to hold on to the cast down for like a Goblin Chain Roller or something like that.
Yeah, yeah, having having things written down is really ideal. Like we can we get that in writing? That's why it's funny what I do. No, I'm just not gonna bring it up. <laughs> so I didn't cast down there because I would prefer to save cast down to kill a chain whirler. It's also more mana efficiency to use my three drop. Have you had a chance to any Modern Horizon Sealed event? No, I'm not a big fan of Limited, personally. The reason, the reason why I don't stream Limited is because I'm just not a fan of playing it. Chat, I have a really important question. Do I want Jimmy John's, Panera, or Pop Belly for lunch? I think Panera. I think Panera. My wife, my wife is coming home for lunch, and she's stopping at one of those. God, there were so many. There's so many... There's so many options. There's a lot of pop bellies in the chat. All right, well, that's, that's fine. Pop belly. I'm not very particular. Let's do, let's do that. What is pop belly? They're, they're a sandwich shop. You can get a shake. And we're dead. Pop, Pop Belly is a, is a sandwich place in the Midwest and it's probably other parts of the United States. Their milkshakes are pretty good. That's true. This stream is in no way sponsored or endorsed by Pop Belly, but Pop Belly, if you're out there, it certainly could be. Let's talk. There's a swamp. There's a swamp. What are the odds the burn deck kills us from nine, chat? What are the what are the odds the burn deck kills us from nine? It's like three bolts, yep. Yikes! All right, so if they hit land, land this turn, I get to oog and kill this. I get to oog and kill this next turn. I need brick by glorious brick to have a chance here. There's one. It didn't start auto passing. It's not. It's not a good scene. Ooh, ooh, that'll that'll almost do, pig. That'll, that'll almost do, pig. Ooh, oh, -ho. we're halfway there. Oh, -ho. living on a prayer. Take my hand. We'll make it, I swear. So, do I Ugin kill the Frenzy or do I God Pharaoh statue here first? Uh, the land, the land is net neutral. This is four. So do I, do I statue or do I Ugin? I think, I think I want a statue. Get the statue clock going. And if they play more creatures off the top, so long as they're not haste creatures, Ritual Soot cleans those out. Oh, that's true too. Well, no, if I play Ugin and kill this, they're going to kill the Ugin with this. Yeah, yeah, the wait, playing the statue first gives Ugin a chance to live, which is nice.
Are we supposed to just kill the Steamkin? Yeah, huh. Maybe I just ritual said. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Was that a good one? What do we, what do we think? How do we, how do we feel about that one? El, El do pig, El do. We're not, we're not out of the woods yet. But we're getting there. Do 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 Manica Smith, thank you for the brand new Prime Support. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Ooh, a target for Vraska's Contempt. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We could, we could be dead here. We could just see three U untap three U. But we lived, we lived our best version of us today, chat. I ass I assume that because they blew up frenzy, we're dead here. Really looking to draw that third moment of craving or second Vraska's Contempt to keep sticking around. The good news is I technically have two shots to draw it too. Because I could Ugin make a 2-2 two -two and then I can cry to kill my 2-2 two -two and draw, draw a life gain card that was underneath it. Yeah, why doesn't why doesn't statue gain me a life? Would it have been too good if it did that? Oh no! Oh no! Not the tank tank kill me! Hey Chris, thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're. Hope you're having a good one. Hope life's been treating you well. It has been a hot second. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Sarkin in their main deck is weird. All right, I think I'm supposed to dig. Is it just this and hope to hit double life game? Because if I do this, I only have five and then six, seven. So if I do this, I can't do this and cast the thing. Cry first and scry with map. Yeah, that technically works, right?
Map is free. Yeah, we probably want the blocker. Alright, didn't matter. This is the part where they're like, seventh land shock lightning strike you. Alright. Scale of one to dead. What are we working with here? Scale, scale of one to dead. Oh no. Don't do it. Ugin has a family. Oh. <laughs> we were so close. We were so close. <sighs> All right. Let's put my fountain of renewals in. I think I want Duresses here just to drag my curve down a touch. Yeah, this is probably fine, right? Just like drag the curve down more. These cards are kind of slow ultimately, although her just being a 4-4 is like kind of decent. She basically flame tongue Kavo in this matchup like she comes into play and kills one of their things. Yeah. Yeah, when I talk about the format, there's often people that complain about the aggro decks, but in all honesty, I like a lot of the gameplay the aggro decks generate in this format. Like, playing mid-range and control decks like this against decks like white aggro and red aggro tend to generate a lot of really interesting gameplay decisions on both sides. Like, that's, that's a game where we ultimately lost, but, like, that was a game that I enjoyed. It was a good game of Magic, in my opinion. Yeah, that's true. The Sarkin in the main is interesting. They could maybe just be playing that in the Chandra slot. I can't imagine they have too much top end. With, uh, with Frenzy in their deck, too. Can you talk about sideboarding artifacts in and out with Karn the Great Creator? Do you want to leave good artifacts in sideboard? So it depends on when, how quickly the impact's going to be from them. So for instance, with the two artifacts that I boarded in here that gained me life, by the time I play four mana Karn and wish for and cast that one mana artifact, it's not really going to have a meaningful impact, right? So I've boarded those in in this matchup because it's going to be too slow to wish for. Meet Morsel and Ian Bot. Thanks for re-upping for four months for both of you. Welcome back. Thanks for shipping your base bucks back this way again. Cast, cast a pi a thing. Yeah, there we go. Poppy, Poppy wants a two for one. Is it possible to sub on mobile? This link here should get you something in your mobile browser that you can do. Sailor Dark. Yeah, I agree on Band Twin. I would prefer if Karn was templated like, uh, like what's it called? If it was templated like, uh. I'm actually just gonna draw a card here because I would like to contempt. If it was templated like that other card, Mastermind's Acquisition, that's the one I'm fumbling to find. Yeah, that's the one. This is the part where I contempt the Chain Whirler and then they play a Chandra and I'm incredibly sad. Hopefully they just play out some one toughness things and Massacre Girl gets to go take them to Pound Town. Yikes. Well, Massacre Girl deals with that eventually.
think there's probably a good chance Duress is still alive. Hopefully they play another one toughness creature here and then Massacre Girl wipes their board. You're not, not dying to shock this game opponent. Second Vraska's Contempt, just, just like we drew it up. Oh, this is technically a mistake on sequencing. I should use this Contempt during my opponent's upkeep. So that way, if they have a lightning strike in their hand and they strike it in response, they don't get it back and get to attack with it. So really, really small mistake there on my part, but one that could have ultimately bit me. It's a me, Massacre Girl. No, so they can cast cards on their upkeep, Emmanuel, but the way the, the timing on uh, the way the timing on the Phoenix works is if they strike their own Phoenix during their upkeep, it doesn't come back that same turn. The egg has to be in play at the start there. Hey, Clipsy, thanks for staying on as a tier one. And Lelum, thank you for the 11 months. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Let's get the scry on here. All right, lightning strike me. All right, I think we're gonna be good from here. They if they hit if they unless they hit a frenzy, we should be good to go from here. Get this girl an appropriately edgy animation, right? What should, what there should be for her in terms of animation is there should be an animation every time uh, her trigger happens. So that way on bigger boards, the animation happens more frequently. I would, that would be, that would be sweet. Oh no. Don't slaughter the people in my district. All right, three more turns. With Moment of Craving, we should be good to go here for the most part. And and she's pretty menacing. I'm hungry. You got some Yichu Lava Runner? All right. Let's make that a slam dunk, shall we? One bolt has never killed so many, right? Anybody else feeling refreshed? Thoroughly, thoroughly refreshed. Do 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 I suppose I suppose they could have a lava coil in their deck, huh? Honestly, they probably should have played this land because a sick frenzy gets them back into this game too. And if they draw a frenzy, they're gonna want every land in play possible. Light up the stage, another reason. Light them up. They're on fire! Oh, you are dead, you are dead, dead, you are dead, you are dead, dead. Massacre Girl is very menacing, opponent. Now, had they played the land last turn, they could have hit 
land second creature to technically not be dead here and have frenzy the next turn obviously i have the removal spell but again just kind of showing like they cut themselves off of the out in order to buy holding that land they're trying trying to figure out why they can't block there's like uh Oh, I should have duressed myself to show the moment of craving to assert dominance. That's that was the line. Stormy, stormy waters with the with the clutch. Oh no, you can't duress yourself. What a tilt. What a tilt. I'm not used to cards that old, that old being target opponent. We got curves, shit. We got curves. Gosh, I wish the red deck. I wish the red deck was more common. I like. I like playing against mono red. Whoo! Oh! Oh! I'm hungry. What is? What do we think Steamkin tastes like? What do we think? What do we think steam can taste like, chat? Does it taste good or bad? Gobble, gobble. Meme chicken. Do I build decks? Yeah, yeah. The new set's coming up. We'll be playing, playing a lot of different things. One of the one of the things that I offer in addition to playing exact deck lists that other people have submitted for me to play on this channel for a slightly larger donation for a twenty five dollar donation you can submit a subset of cards or just a general idea and I will build a car uh, build a deck around that idea or cards for you. Lava coil. We put we put the fear of massacre girl in them chat. We put we put the fear of massacre girl in them. They are like, they're like, we're never losing the Massacre Girl again. Cry. Cry. All right, so now the real question is, do I contempt one of these Firebrands? I think so. I think they're going to do enough damage to me that it's worth contempting one. And like, now I'm going to draw Cry, or they're going to go land Phoenix, and I'm going to be sad, but... I think keeping my life total extra high here is important. I don't think no chance is true. I currently don't have an ability to close this game out. All right, maybe, maybe now they don't have a chance. Feeling, feeling refreshed, anyone? They could, they could... Frenzy, Frenzy and Phoenix both put us on the back foot here. So I agree that we're ahead from this position, but we are by no means guaranteed to win. What if they three free coil our land? That's a real, it's a real possibility. They draw lightning strike? Hey, troll. Washed up still. We are, we are in fact plenty clean. This is our last match with Mono Black Control. Then we're going to play some Grixis Aristocrats. Then we're going to play some Dota Underlords to wrap things up. Looking for looking for Ugins at this point. God Pharaoh statue, etc. Hey, thanks for the three quarters of a year, dear Sushi. I appreciate it.
Womp, womp, womp. Fountain of Renewal doing its best firebrand removal spell impersonation. Yep. Shuffler confirmed broken. Coming in hot with the seven months. Welcome back. Hey, Volcanic. My Twitch Prime runs out in three days, so I need to ensure you don't lose out on any funds from a damn blade. No, you're, you're fine, Findorsal. So don't, don't worry about it. Just uh, next time you're on or around. Also, a, a good thing to keep in mind is I don't have to be live in order for you to renew your sub. So if you know what day your sub is renewing, even if I'm not live that day, you can just open twitch.tv forward slash Jeff Hoagland and click the, the sub button use free sub. I appreciate the folks that mostly watch on YouTube, especially that pop in and do that when my schedule doesn't line up well with theirs. Sweet. So Ugin puts us in a good position here. Hey, Squee. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. And thank you for the half a year, Cuthbert. Diagonal, diagonal goblin is wonderful. He's just so angry. Uh, I have the uplift desk, and yeah, I would recommend would recommend not uplift. Not not particularly quality components. Yeah, Aether Gust seems sweet. Now those are the cycle of hate cards in M20 could be things that push into this format. Things that are protection from red, protection from white, etc. Like those are potentially very, very good. Aether, Aether Gust. There's uh there's the new black spell that destroys target green or white planeswalker or creature too, right? That one seems very playable. Kills, kills Steffri. Hacksaw, thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. Your quest is futile. I have a shock here to finish you again. Looking forward to SP par Esper Party Bus updated with these new cards. Agent of Treachery, Scholar's Agent, and Blood Bones for Blood. Sounds good, Hackensaw. Sounds like a great one to update. Magic's a skill game and the better player always wins. Welcome to Thunderdome. Enjoy your stay. I can't be stopped. Thank you for the three months. Welcome back. Uh, Veil of Summer seems like one of the worst uh, uh, anti-color cards. The, the black and the blue one both seem very good, which the fact that Esper got two of the best hate cards is, uh, is, is a yikes. There's Miguel. I thought that was clever too. I like that they gave Nox the card that was called Noxious. Oh, hi wife. I love you. My wife brought me a sandwich. She's wonderful. The pot belly is here. Yeah, the red one's good too. I agree with that. The boss is here, everybody. Nobody looks suspicious. Gotta look, gotta look like I'm working hard. Uh, Pop Belly's uh, mushroom, mushroom melt sandwich is my go-to there as a vegetarian. But I keep track of when my donation will be played. You can always follow there you go. The deck queue on my website. Bit.ly forward slash deck queue for short. I was going to play this as a 4 4.
So, as is the case with many of the brews in the standard format, um, yeah, two wins gets you your entry fee max. The constructed events are really good value. If you go two and two, you break even and get some free cards. If you go better than two and two, you turn a profit in gold. So if you're someone that's like looking to farm to like get gold for the next set, it's a good way to do it. Um, as with most brews in this format, um, it is reasonable against a variety of things and just absolutely dog poop against Esper. That's the best deck in the format. It's also bad against Wilderness Reclamation. Those two decks are kind of like the brew, crusher, fun sucker, whatever you want to call them. As that last match showed, we've got plenty of tools to play fun, interesting games against like mono red though. So if you're, if you're expecting to play against a lot of like white aggro, uh, red aggro, Grohl, stuff like that, I think this deck's got plenty of tools for those and it's very fun and reasonable. But if you're going to play against a lot of Esper and Reclamation,